So today we're going to be on the job. We have a testimonial shoot with the students of the auctioneering school, and I am going to be setting up for testimonials after they all done with the school. I'm going to pull them to the side and start asking questions like, hey, how was it? How'd you like it? And uh, that's for one of the clients here in Auburn. Now I'm going to just show you what exactly I have set up as far as the setup here. And Hopefully that helps you to, you know, think if you're trying to get shoot done and I have only about I don't know, 30 minutes to set everything up, this is what I came up with. Let me show you. So as you can see right here, I have Sony FX3 with a Tamron 35 to 150, which is absolutely fantastic lens. I'm more and more excited about it. Obviously it is heavy, but the range, it's like one lens does it all. If it was, 24 to 150 with constant aperture of 2.8 which this one actually when you go to 35 it is 2.0 which is absolutely fantastic with combination with sony fx3 it is absolutely killer on top you can see i have a dji mic with the hot shoe converter so all it is is just connects to the receiver and it directs the signal directly to the camera. So there's no cords that dangle in, no interference, which is amazing. This is how easy it is to use this thing. You just have this one little piece, the receiver, attach this thing like so, and then connect it to the hot shoe of your Sony. And that's all it is. Obviously you can see I set up the stool, a somewhat decent background. I'm not gonna show the kitchen area. So. And then here I have FX30 with Sigma 24 to 70, the OG, the original. And I have this mic that is hard to pronounce. I'm just gonna put the actual name. So this shotgun mic is absolutely fantastic. All you do is just set it for auto and it automatically does its thing. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to check the level, especially for interviews. And it sounds fantastic. And all you have to do is just make sure that the switcher is switched to directional because you can actually choose how how wide the signal is going to pick up is direct. Then if you have like a two people interview, you can just do a little bit wider, which is that middle one. And then the omnidirectional, which is going to be just taking everything. And that's good for vlogging. Whatever I do right now, even though I have just a simple mic on me. And then on here, I have a Aperture 600D. This thing is absolutely nuts. If you turn it on, and especially if you're flooding, which is, that's what I'm doing. I'm just bouncing off from this white wall and it's gonna be flooding this side. That's why I put cameras on the opposite side away from the key light. But this is gonna be my kind of key light area. The one thing, there's no really outlets here. Keep in mind the cords, if there's doorways, try to gaff tape the cord so nobody's going to be tripping over them because it's a tripping hazard so and that's where i'm going to be just plugging that thing in uh, but yeah that's pretty much the setup let me show you what it looks like and that's where i'm going to be sitting and that's where the talent is going to be and i would be asking questions so yeah pretty simple so in this area i'm going to just set up this uh, osmo pocket 3 which is honestly one of the really coolest features lately i've been just absolutely loving the pocket osmo 3 and try to actually learn how to color grade and color correct properly the footage to make it look really good versus you know cell phone style wishy-washy so i'm probably going to set up the table over here and just uh, slap the pocket osmo so you can kind of see what's happening behind the scenes of course i forgot my headphones just to monitor the audio and uh, as usual i always have in my case wired apple generation 2 or something headphones can be just dangling over here looking all professional keep in mind when you're actually shooting for somebody first time have a good set of overhead headphones just to impress the client because if they see that you're rocking these old school apple wired headphones they would be like hmm should I hire this guy or the girl? So, all right, so this is all good. Now what I'll do is just gonna shut this thing off and go film stuff. So this part of the video, I will just show you behind the scenes and I'll keep my mic on to show you how I deal with the clients or talent, how I set them down, how I talk to them, what I do to put them to ease and how exactly I ask questions. Yeah, hope you enjoy. I mean, you gotta try to, to fail it. Yeah, you do. You really do. Okay, if you don't mind, Go ahead, uh, stand up for me. I'm gonna mic you up and hide this mic. Come here, guys. 
Thank you. No worries. No worries at all. Look, when I sit, sit back down, adjust the camera so you don't get any jelly on <laughs> It's going to be, trust me, you're going to be. <laughs> we'll make you guys look fantastic. Just don't cute. worry. I need to be cute. You guys are. <laughs> That's beyond That's cute. Oh. Okay. Does that feel good? Yep. Everything looks great. You look awesome. Tammy, uh, can I get your consent for using this footage for promotional purposes? Yes. So can you tell me just really briefly, a little bit of your background, what's your business, and you can just roll into why you decided to become an auction. Well, I'm a licensed real estate agent down in North Carolina. I also work at Iron Horse Auction Company, and I decided I wanted to come get my auctioneer license, and I decided on record. Almost everybody that works at Iron Horse in Rockingham has come through record. So there's a history there, and I wanted to continue that and assuring us that, that we could reach out to them in the future if we needed to. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a lot of value, mm -hmm. mentorship, and mm -hmm. just having an opportunity to reach out to specialists without relying on ChatGPT. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You absolutely rocked it. Good job. That was great. You're welcome. Let me go ahead and mic you, and oh, yeah. you'll be free to go. Okay. This one, here we go. Thank you so much. Good luck. Hard to have to follow like normal. Oh. Yeah. All right, go ahead, have a seat. I'll mic you up, it'll be super easy. Or would you like to have the tag on you? Like yeah. the, yeah, keep I'm it up. Fine. Fine. Feel good? Yeah. I'm awesome. Good. Some of them are uh, very, very talented yeah. already, but they just need yeah. a license yep. in this state. Some of them, some legends came through here. Like, you know, first day, you have to come out there and show what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah everybody yeah, went through. Yeah. And he just killed it. Oh, he did. Everybody's like, who is this? Yeah, Why is he even here? Yeah. But then apparently he's just like, I just need license here. Yes, yeah. I just need yeah. ours. So yeah. remember, I'm going to be sitting here. We're just chatting and just reiterate the questions into your answers. Yeah. Super easy. Am I looking at you or the camera? Just me. Okay. Yeah, we're just chatting. All right. You ready? Yep. Awesome. You know, that's been the surprising part of here at Reference. So, so you know, going through, by the way, you did a great job last time. I, I just <laughs> saw it. I, Definitely a really good job. So as far as for what you learned throughout this school, for this one right here, camera, if you want to say something to uh, cruises and the staff throughout or instructors, just kind of like your message if you would like to. For all the, the, the cruise family, thank you. Again, I was absolutely terrified coming in uh, about the bid calling. Actually, now I want to kind of go out and, and maybe do a little bit of it. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. Awesome. That's yep. great. Yep. Let me go ahead and mic you and you are free okay. to go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yep. I'm gonna get different victims. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's an interesting fellow. Yeah, he is. So this is what we're gonna be doing. Whoever's gonna be going first, second person will be sitting here and just kind of like watch, observe how everything conducts. There's two cameras. They're gonna be offside. I'll be sitting in the chair. You'll be sitting here, mic'd up, and we're just gonna be chatting. You're looking at me, and every question that I'll ask, let's just say, "Would you have for breakfast this morning?" And you say, "Well, I'm not a big breakfast person, but..." for breakfast this morning, I had blah, blah, blah. So my voice is not gonna be in it. And majority of times, if there is a cool story, yeah, elaborate on it. But majority of time is just, you know, for testimonial, it's usually like short and sweet to the point, kind of like elevator pitch style. Who's gonna go first? <laughs> Don't worry. Let me know if that's actually comfortable. What? I can always take my jacket off if it's not gonna stay. You know what? I'm gonna just do a different mic. Let's do an actual. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? I wanna make sure that looks awesome. So I will just do this one. And yeah, buckets. Yeah. Anything uh, on the on the actual dress? No. No, okay, no worries. We're gonna get we're gonna get it. <laughs> Once again complicated. No worries at all. Well snap, you guys, you guys got it. So, okay, so yes. if you can look at me, if you don't mind. I don't right? care. I'm gonna just get yep. yeah, all the flyaways. Majority yep. of stuff I can, you know, or whoever's gonna be editing can take it out. But okay. yeah, I think it looks great. So, okay. awesome. So, is your grandpa, do you know the year that he graduated? It was 61 years ago. So whatever that Holy maps cow. out okay. to be. 1963, 1963. Yeah. And he does not know. He does not know. It's gonna be a surprise. So I'm not gonna, he thinks I'm at Pilates training right now. I think he's gonna be pretty shocked. He's not an emotional man, and I think he's gonna get emotional, so, yeah. Uh, make sure you record that. Yes, That would be so sure. cool to for show sure. it off. That is so awesome. <laughs> That's a great story. Uh, so, 
out of uh, this is just a their tally thing <laughs> john or matthew who would you go and say like better <laughs> <laughs> Personally, John, just because I am a more like upbeat person. So having that energy was really great, especially because we do have long days. So getting to have that like bubbly excitement personality, like ready to get us going was really great. So I think if I had to pick, I would pick John. John would be like, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Another question I have is, and this is just for like, just quality for mm -hmm. future to improve. And there's a lot like, Nobody's going to be judging you on this. Yeah. But if there's something that you would add to this whole experience for students, for the next upcoming mm -hmm. students, what would you add? Is it like, you know, it can be food, accommodations, or some uh, like less lectures or more lectures. What would you say would enhance this whole experience? Awesome. Thank you so much. You rocked Thank it. You. Good job. That was great. Thank you. Let me go ahead and mic yep. you. Are you nervous? Have you done yeah, videos? I've, yep. I did it when I did my Pilates training. We all had to do interviews at the end, um, yeah. and mine was the one that got chosen for everything. That's so, awesome. Well, kind of used to the promotional thing. Yeah, so. That's awesome. Well, good job. <laughs> We're very happy that there, a lot of people get to experience rapper and their staff and everybody here. They're wonderful. Just such a good intention. So oh, yeah. they really wanted to help you. Well, that's the amazing thing. There's more that want to help you than any business I've ever seen. Was there information that you heard from one of the you know presenters that you were just like, wow, I cannot believe. Was there like a wow <laughs> factor? The, the wow factor presenter was from the two legal presenters. When they were done, myself and several others all felt like maybe we should just forget it because we're going to get sued over everything. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, that was probably the biggest biggest wow uh, it was kind of funny but true at the same time that it can happen but it can happen anywhere you know I can get sued for selling something on Amazon so uh, it's just you know risk I wouldn't be here if I didn't take risks great point that's a great point well thank you sir okay, thank that you. was wonderful Thanks. good job let me go ahead and oh, mic yeah you. I don't want to take that back here you go <laughs> I'm gonna toss this one over here okay guys hopefully that was helpful for you just wanted to say thank you for sticking around all the way to the end if you are in the industry where you're going to be taking a lot of testimonials or interview style videos i'm pretty sure you can get something good out of this and if you have questions please don't hesitate to ask me down in the description below otherwise thank you so much again and i will see you in the next video stay awesome my friend